is Barcel Outdoors, presented by Rocky Boots. In the distance, you can hear the sound of rutting, the low grunting noise, like sounds a lot like a pig is a stag. It's prime time for the rut here in New Zealand. There's a lot of them, but it's vast country, so they're scattered. <laughs> sick of stags and there's definitely a hot doe around because we've been seeing does running and we've been hearing the sickest roar. I'm hoping that today I can get on one.
just fell. <laughs> Dude. Dude. He's falling down the hill. What just happened? We were walking up on top of the ridge, went down to a big bowl, and we heard this sick of stag screaming his head off. Lucky for me, I was able to see him before I stepped up on him. So I saw a silhouette and he went up over the hill. So I went after him on my hands and knees crawling. And by golly, we just came across a ton of them because they were chasing a hot doe. Four other stags were running and roaring. And here comes the man of the hour. Big Louie. Big Louie. And I got set up, man. Oh my gosh, he actually ran past us. I didn't have a shot. I'm like, shoot. And then two other, two younger ones came by the other direction. So I know he was being a bully, chasing him off, chasing that doe. And oh, he came out 43, 45 yards, smoked him. And I watched him fall. And he didn't go down the big ravine. Thank gosh. Let's go get him. That's a beauty. Oh my gosh. Look at him. Oh my gosh. I am the happiest person ever. Look at this stag. He's got some chocolate tips and you can tell he's mature and he's a good, he's a good stag because he's got eight points. So Look usually, at that shot. Yeah. He ran up and ran right and fell right back down. Grim Reaper ate him up. Great stag. I'm pretty dang happy. These sick of bucks are really hard to kill. They're smart and you see them, they're gone like that. And so it's been a little tough here this past couple of days trying to get on one, but you know, dad and I like to spot stock. You know how we do it and I'm pretty pumped. What happened, Tegan? <laughs> Tegan is my guide. Tegan may have not been with us, but she did say, hey, there's some big sick of sags roaring down here in this bull. So that's where dad and I headed. And from the knees, I slung a Grim Reaper and dad was behind the camera. And Tegan was waiting for us, waiting for the call. <laughs> Looked like a lucky shot, Tegan. <laughs> I don't like how he says Tegan. It sounds like Tegan. <laughs> <laughs> Tiggs, that's her new name, Tiggs. All right, We're bringing take... her back home to Illinois with us. <laughs> All right, let's take some pics. Okay, let's do that. All right. Let's, let's keep her going. Okay guys, so it's the next day after my sicka hunt and we ended up saving the heart and Joe just come up into different slices and the girls are about to fry them. So it's a sicka heart, we're gonna try it. I've never had it before, but we're just putting flour, some probably salt and pepper into the deep fryer and then we're gonna eat it for lunch. Yum! Mm. Yum! Okay. We officially got the meat, the heart. Yum. That's a big one. Woo. Big button, Dad. You're not pressing I it. I know, but I'm getting that. 